Thank you very much. Hello. It's a pleasure to be here. I love coming to Australia. First time I came here, I was in, uh, was in Melbourne and I uh, went to go on one of your trams and I forgot to get a ticket before I got on the tram, which is a big no-no I've noticed. <laughs> I was sat there and a tram inspector came up to me and he went, excuse me, sir, where's your ticket? And I panicked. And you know when you're in another country and you get caught out doing something wrong, what you do is you up your accent to the max. <laughs> so when he went, where's your ticket? I went, I'm from Glasgow. <laughs> we don't have trams in Glasgow. Who's pushing this train? <laughs> he did not buy that for a second. <laughs> And he went, sir, that is not explained if you got a ticket or not. Do you have one? And I thought, I've got a few options here. And I thought, well, maybe I could get away with going, who cares, mate? It's a free country. <laughs> I don't usually use that phrase, because that phrase basically means, hey, I know I'm being annoying, but go away. I'm just going to do it anyway. <laughs> so I didn't have the confidence to pull that off. What I did do is I apologised. I went, mate, I'm so sorry. I genuinely didn't know I needed a ticket before I got on the tram. I'll get off the tram right now, and I'll go and buy one. I'm really sorry about that. And he went, oh, no, 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 no. It's all right. Just calm down and stand there. I'm going to write you out a fine. <laughs> So he started writing out this fine for $200 and I was absolutely gutted because the reason why I didn't get a taxi back from the date I was on was because I couldn't afford the $20 that that was going to cost. <laughs> and the date was not worth it. The, the guy was proper weird. <laughs> and a very weird fetish. Right, I've come across weird fetishes before. I've had people ask me to like pee in their mouth. Which, yeah, yeah I would never ever do that. Unless they like swallowed a jellyfish. <laughs> This guy told me that he liked to get tickled. Right, well, not a kind of coochie coo tickle, more like a strokey number, <laughs> like a harp. <laughs> and I thought, all right, I'm up for that, because I'm in his flat, he's locked the door, and I want to live. <laughs> so I stroked his back, and after one stroke, he ejaculated. <laughs> And I did what every single person would have done at that point. Since I made him ejaculate with one stroke, I looked at my hands and I kind of... <gasps> <laughs> I have been given a gift. <laughs> I was thinking, no wonder my dog is always so pleased to see me. <laughs> on the tram, I was thinking that was a proper weird day and what a horrible situation I'm in right now. And he's writing out this $200 fine and this lovely little old lady saw what was happening and she stood up and she went, leave that boy alone. <laughs> he has got a ticket because you know what? I've got a spare one in my handbag and he is having it. <laughs> and she walked up the carriage like that towards me. <laughs> Almost like it was the proudest moment of her life. She was thinking, I've been buying spare tickets for years. Finally, it's paying off. <laughs> and she went up to me and she handed it to me. And I was like, oh, thank you so, so much for that. I really, really appreciate it. And she went, oh, no worries at all. It's a spare ticket anyway. You have a nice day. And she sat back down. I'm in love with this old lady. The tram inspector is feeling the exact opposite. And he woes up to this old lady and he goes, that is not his ticket. You're not allowed to do that. And she went, fuck it, it's a free country. <laughs> and I absolutely loved her. And I fell in love with the place after that. I thought, the people are nice here. And what I did was I thought, I need to thank her properly. So I waited until the tram inspector moved away. And I walked up to her and I shook her hand. And she ejaculated. <laughs> Folks, I'll be Larry Dean. Thank you very much, Jealous. <laughs>